What have you all been waiting for? The official drum roll. It's obvious game of the year awards 2015. The first ever. The first yeah. ever. Game we have of, trophies to give out and everything. Yep. So and they're, they're these bottles right here. Yes. These they all look the same though. Cream bottles. That's okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, all right. Got that out of the way. Gentlemen, Witcher 3 may have taken Jeff Keighley's Game of the Year award, but there are several other outlets that we will we will see later on, including yes. IGN, GameSpot, mm-hmm. Game Informer, yep. etc. What the is big your... Big dogs. And then, of course, us. What is your Game of the Year, Garrett Drake? Well, <laughs> I feel like there's got to be a little build-up here. Um, Just say it, and we'll go in a circle, right, and then on. we'll be done. If you're wondering why these specific games are up here, disregard the fact that they all say PS4 because only one of them's exclusive. I just chose what I thought were the big four of this year. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of other good games, countless good games this year, mm-hmm. ranging from indie all the way to the biggest AAA, game, AAA games there are. So um, are these your four favorite games? Mm, Since you displayed yes. them? Okay. Yes, they are. If um, I could stick Rise of the Tomb Raider right here. It's in Blocking spirit. Fallout. I thought about adding more, but like I only had four of these hook yeah. things to put them on. <laughs> and these are it on looks the, nice. The game of the game awards list yes. as well. So hey, here's another thing matches. to say: if you think we're being biased towards PS4, fun <clears throat> fact: these little hook things that the games are sitting on are from an <laughs> Xbox 360 stand that an Xbox 360 <laughs> used to sit in, and it says Xbox 360. You're not a real PlayStation fan, so we're balanced out here. Yeah, but uh, I will go ahead and say my game of the year. Okay, and uh, I thought I've thought about it a lot. Uh, you're making me scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared to say it. Is it Witcher Out 3? With it, yeah, it's Witcher Three. It Witcher is the Witcher Three. three. Oh, wow. and I'm not saying it because I'm like I have to say it because it'll make me look like the wise gamer. Because I'm like, <laughs> well, this game had this and that, and mm-hmm. th- this was lacking in this game. Like, no, I think it's because uh, I mean I haven't even finished Fallout Four yet, and don't get me wrong. Fallout 4 is my favorite game of the year, but mm-hmm. my game of the year goes to Witcher because that Wait, game, what? that's the thing. I'm not basing it off like, I had the most fun playing this. Originally, I, was, I thought we'd do it like, oh, I, whichever game I had the most fun playing is going to be my game of the year, but I think the best gaming experience I had all year, including a ton of fun, was The Witcher. Because that game, from every every aspect of the development, especially from the developers themselves, like starting off the thank you note they put in the game when you purchase it they're like thank you for spending your hard earned money on our game that we spent developing for years and now you get to experience it and we're so excited that you purchased our game and you're going to play it mm-hmm. blah 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 mm-hmm. all that free DLC they gave which they didn't have to do mm-hmm. they did that even though most of it was not massive things but some even if they're like the smallest things the fact that it was free and they had all that stuff come out was awesome the writing was amazing the gameplay was <laughs> phenomenal the world the fact that you could essentially go in and out of everywhere without loading screens was unbelievable. Like that's, Mm -hmm. I think one of the big staples as to what defines that as a next gen game for sure. At least for an open world RPG. Mm -hmm. Loading uh, times were decently quick. Yeah. I don't 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 even remember loading times, but, uh, just the world was absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I, I have so many flashbacks. Like just last night before I was going to bed, I was looking up at the map that I have of the game up there. I was just looking at it and there was just like images, just like, like uh, my Vietnam flashbacks just like in my head of like cutting guys in half and like running through uh, Skellige and hearing the music play and running mm-hmm. through like a forest with like the sun setting and then uh, having a uh, like what are those big uh, like uh, moose looking giant enemies you fight Oh, the, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, those guys. Them fighting me and then going in and out of, like, Novigrad into, like, uh, a swamp and mm-hmm. into the mountains and the ocean and sailing and swimming mm-hmm. under the ocean and then interacting with all the characters and all the different outcomes you could possibly have. <coughs> it was, like, so much to process. I was like, yeah. and I haven't even played the DLC yet. Like, mm-hmm. uh, Hearts, is it Hearts of Stone? I believe so. Okay. And then Blood and Wine is the next one. Mm-hmm. See, I'm so excited for those and reflecting on it. And also, I obviously, like I said, Fallout 4 is my favorite game of the year. Mainly just because we waited seven years to play it. And I've had nothing but fun the entire time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it, I think overall, The Witcher 3 has impressed me the most just from everything. And that's the mm-hmm. thing. I don't have anything bad to say about Fallout 4. But I think you and I both agreed that like Fallout 4 most certainly met our expectations, but mm-hmm. it didn't like astound us like Fallout 3 did. And mm-hmm. there's a perfectly understandable reason why, because Fallout 3 was 100% different from Fallout 1 and 2. It was just a, it's such a huge leap from the previous one, mm-hmm. and that happens all the time. Like, 
I'm not going to talk about Halo for an hour, so don't worry. But for example, <laughs> Halo 1 to 2 was such a huge leap that it was regarded as like the best <coughs> Halo. Um, another example would be Star Wars, going from Star Wars to Star Wars Empire Strikes Back was such a huge leap story-wise and filmmaking-wise, and it, it expanded that lore so much and that story so much that it was it's always been regarded as like the best Star Wars movie. It always seems like whichever game expands the most upon the last one seems to be regarded as the best. And that's not my personal opinion, but... Fallout 4, like I said, it's my favorite. I love it to death. I was, I've was i been playing it all day until we shot this podcast. Um, love it very much, but I think Witcher 3, in my opinion, does it, from my personal opinion, for me, Witcher 3 did it for me the <coughs> most. And uh, I mean, I could go on and on about it, but I right. also want to hear your guys' opinions. But that's all I'll say for now is that Witcher 3 wins my game of the year for 2015. Wow. Good pick. Thanks. Probably like the rest of the world. Yeah. What about you, Jacob? Um, surprisingly, it was between Bloodborne mm. and Witcher 3. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I really liked Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It was a game that I never, it was a game like I've never played that kind of game before, you know? I'm yeah. sure you guys are in the same boat. Oh, yeah, no. I, I played uh, Demon Souls. Okay. So, so you kind of knew. Don't act like you know me. I know you pretty well. I know, I know you. I loved Bloodborne. Bloodborne was good. At the time, I was like, I think this might be one of my favorite games of all time, and I still almost agree with it. It was certainly <laughs> the most challenging game I've ever played. Yeah. It was and, just such uh, a new experience for both of us, I yeah, think. It was, it was very was satisfying awesome. beating it, and I didn't get a platinum, but I pretty much got everything except the the uh, Chalice Dungeon trophies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it was probably like my most satisfying moment as far as gaming went this year. But I think overall, The Witcher 3 was my game of the year as well. Um, Like I've said before, I really like, you know, that kind of setting in video games. Like, you know, your sword, hand-in-hand combat. Mm -hmm. uh, You know, the the old fantasy thing. Mm -hmm. Traveling through the world. Like, you know, your mission. And uh, what else was I going to say about Witcher there's like a million things to I know, say about it. It's kind of hard to gather. Everything, everything he said, like, <laughs> you, you literally said everything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just love <coughs> living the games through the characters that they're developed around. Totally. And that's a big selling point for me. So, yeah, Witcher 3 was mine. All right. What's yours, Preston? We have to clap for Jacob. We I'm clap clapping in my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to school both of you while you're both stupid and wrong, and why okay. the Order 1886 is my game of the year. I was going to mention that at some point too. <laughs> um, <It's a clears throat> game. Bloodborne. Oh, I love Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Such a good game. Yes, I platinumed that game. Mm-hmm. And that was probably my greatest achievement in gaming to this date. Yeah, is sinking my two-handed giant holy sword into Yarnum the Queen and watch her die. And I heard that kapling. That was very satisfying. Mm-hmm. I love that game. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid Five. Hold on. Before we move on, what was your favorite boss to kill in that game? If you can remember. <coughs> I didn't even. I it turns. I didn't even realize I hadn't fought all the bosses until after I <laughs> yeah, beat the main <laughs> story. It's like, oh wow, that was hard. Mm-hmm. And My it's boss. Like, you missed all these extra bosses. I was like, dang. <laughs> Mine personally was. Uh, what was that old guy's name at the end? Oh, uh, the, the the old guy that's with you throughout yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. he was, was he fight. was very difficult for me. And when I finally beat him, it was extremely <coughs> satisfying. Mine was the alien-looking things in the chalice dungeon oh, yeah, yeah. when you had half health in a room with oh, him. That's oh, ridiculous. God. And it took me four hours straight of. I just remember me that. running in a room and dying and we dying, a and party dying and dying. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and finally slang. You couldn't get hit one time by that guy, not one time. So I I got it down to an art, and when I beat Jeez. that guy, I just screamed from the top of my lungs because I knew from that point on it was going to be smooth sailing. Yeah, and boy was I wrong because it was <laughs> it was still hard, but it wasn't as hard as that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I felt like I could do anything in the world after beating that. Like I mm-hmm. could just beat any game ever. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5, great game. I've talked about it several times where I kind of got burnt out on it, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I uh, I wish it was more I know this is like completely not the game, but I wish it, there was a more linear kind of process to it to where I could just go through the story and mm-hmm. just figure out what happened. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, there's not. And I feel like that's kind of what burnt me out just because, you know, we were talking about all the side ops. And it's a very long game. It it's is. very long. <coughs> and, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Game. No, it's, it's like, it's not that it's boring, it's just... Tedious? Maybe? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's still like, a great game. You're always Good flying stealth on game. your helicopter, it takes forever for you to get there. Yeah. And you have to, I don't know. Just, I know. I know what you're saying. Just I still about oddly it. like every time game. playing my helicopter going into missions and yeah. leaving missions. I don't know why. It was I good. Just I just it. like my stealth games kind of more splinter cell where you like drop mm-hmm. in a place and you're like, all yeah. right, get through this place. Mm-hmm. I just kind of like that. Granted, it was still a great open world. I It's a fantastic game. Just wasn't my cup of tea. I played it for 50 freaking hours, so I liked the game somewhat. Mm-hmm. Um, Metal Gear <clears> doesn't have to be a stealth game, though, to be fair. It doesn't, but it's... You can just go in and go in blazing. It's, intended to, it's intended to be stealth. Yeah. I mean, I think it says... Well, it's tactical espionage. It used to yeah. be stealth operations. You can tactically like shoot the place. <laughs> you can. I just like being sneaky. Mm-hmm. And uh game was obviously meant to kind of be sneaky with mm-hmm. all the mechanics, sneaky yeah. mechanics and stuff. Um, The Witcher 3, I just started playing that again today. Mm-hmm. Fantastic game. Um, like you were saying, total the first next gen experience I had, um, I platinumed that game as well with almost two hundred hours of gameplay. Yeah. I had a week off from work and just basically just killed myself um, playing that game. And um, how about a game of Gwent? <laughs> I played a lot of Gwent to get that trophy. Holy crap! I could I was like seeing the Gwent cards. Yeah, that, that, that alone is why I'll uh, never platinum that game. I hate Gwent <laughs> yeah, so much. Same. Just collecting what? all the cards. I never I liked Gwent. it. I just would rather. <coughs> it's I just, so good. I wanted to be cutting guys in half, not playing virtual cards. <laughs> That's fair. I played. I think it's probably I played too much Hearthstone that I didn't want to play it at that point. Hearthstone's good. Witcher had a good story. I liked it. I wasn't like super engaged with it. But I really liked Siri. Mm-hmm. I really like wanted mm-hmm. to find her and stuff like that. Um. I I probably would have loved it more on the PC because some parts, like especially in the epic battles towards the end, got a little framey and stuff. Which you know, that game, a game of that magnitude running on a console is is definitely a an achievement in itself. But uh, with all the patches and stuff, like I was I was noticing today, and all the updates they had, you know, allowing you to move more fluid, um, blah, 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 move around better. Yeah, that's a more easier they way to say. Made better. movement more fluid. Yes, that. Is what I that mean. was awesome too. <coughs> the fact they did, yeah, that. and all the DLC mm-hmm. and the DLCs are super cheap. Like Blood and Wine is twenty dollars again, and it's twenty mm-hmm. hours of gameplay in a new place. Like yeah. the, the CD Projekt Red is a class act, and I really, really love them for that. Certainly, yeah. um, they're definitely one of my favorite developers now. I'm definitely excited for Cyberpunk, mm-hmm. yeah, the definitely. next game coming out for sure. And they're definitely going to probably do another Witcher for sure. I know they said it's the end, but mm-hmm. they're the game did too well in one game of the year. Like right. they're totally going to do. I it. feel like it's at this point, like Witcher three was even obviously way better <coughs> than Witcher two. It's like, there's no doubt that if they made another one, it'd be massive just because of the success yeah. of the third one. Mm-hmm. Yes. So my game of the year, Mario is Maker. fallout four. Mm-hmm. I completely agree with y'all in the terms of that. I believe that, Anybody that gives Witcher 3 game of the year, I applaud them, and I completely agree with both of you. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my game of the year in terms of, I guess I'm going to favor myself the more uh, of a game that I enjoyed more and mm-hmm. had more fun of myself. Kind of opposite to you, but I completely agree with you and mm-hmm. why you picked The Witcher. But Fallout 3 is the only game this year that I said frequently in my head several times, holy crap, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, I just I would find a new area. I would just get it out of a firefight. Mm-hmm. I would, in terms of finding the area, I would go in a church and find a little latch, and it'd mm-hmm. lead to this giant bunker where I mm-hmm. would sneak through, popping headshots, and I'd just mm-hmm. be like, "Oh god, this is awesome!" Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Upgrade your guns, doing your sanctuaries, forming relationships with your companions, all these factions, the the railroad, the Brotherhood of Steel, mm-hmm. blah 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 blah. You even got the building. And everything yeah like it just i loved it i've been i've been waiting for this game forever it mm-hmm. didn't exceed my expectations it did in some ways like in terms of like i didn't like the companions in new vegas i thought the companions were pointless in fallout 3 yeah. and i actually really like the companions in this game i like how they interact with things i like how they talk to you yeah, and... look how they just randomly strike up conversations yeah exactly like, like, do something good. like I walked into the Pride, Pride I think that's what it's called with uh, Nick mm-hmm. and uh, they were like you better keep Where? that synth on a leash and yeah. stuff like that like they're actually 
you know, interacting Piper will will say stuff, even though the USS Constitution almost blew her brains out every time I'd see it. She'd be like, she'd say something like, "How did it get up here?" I'd like yeah. leave there. <laughs> How did it get up here? Like every time, it was so <laughs> annoying. But um, just things like that, like finding a ship with a giant robot with a captain's hat on, like yeah. acting like he's back in the 18th century talking <laughs> and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just pure Fallout stuff that made me fall in love with the third one. Mm-hmm. And they just like it, this is essentially Fallout Three. With way better shooting, mm-hmm. way prettier, and just a lot more features. Yeah, a lot more features, which is is fine with me. They didn't they didn't change the world with this game. They just made a follow up to one of my favorite games of all time, and they did it very very well. Mm-hmm. And I love it for that. Yeah. And it is it is definitely my game of the year. It is. I thought when Fallout Four, like in our La- our older podcast, I was like, "Oh, Fallout Four is going to win. Fallout Four is going to win Game of the Year." Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't even thinking about it. It's like, there's no mm-hmm. way a fall game is going to come out. And it's not going to win Game of the Year. Yeah. Which I was kind of looking. I don't know. We saw, like you said, the the Fallout Three came out of nowhere mm-hmm. for me. I never played Oblivion. I'd never played another Bethesda game. So it just it blew my freaking mind. Mm-hmm. Then I played Skyrim as opposed to Oblivion in terms of like art direction and gameplay. In my opinion, it was it blew my expectations out of the water. Yeah. So I was expecting them to do that yet again. Mm-hmm. However, like I, I'm trying to think of ways they could have, but I, I can't really. They just they just delivered my expectations, and they then they delivered a fantastic Fallout game that mm-hmm. I love. And people ha- have a lot of issues with it in terms mm-hmm. of the leveling process, and that's I can see where they're coming from, but. From a diehard Fallout 3 fan, and I'm not going to say I'm like, I didn't play, I tried to play Fallout 2, but I just didn't get into it. I'm not into that type of gameplay. Mm -hmm. Didn't play Fallout 1 either, but from a diehard Fallout 3 fan with hundreds upon hundreds of hours of gameplay in that, I am totally satisfied with Fallout 4, and I'm going to put as just just as many hours in the Fallout 4 as this one. I'm excited for my season's pass. I've sure. still, I've platinum the game, and I'm still going through it. Just like mm-hmm. Fallout 3, my favorite part about Fallout 3 was when I platinumed it and just went exploring, just doing stupid yeah. stuff, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not a karma system and stuff. You can still be evil. Like, you can still do stuff. There might not be as much choice for evil players mm-hmm. you know you can't nuke a town or anything but i never played evil in the first place so it doesn't yeah. affect me that much but yeah that's kind of disappointing if you like really want to be evil you can kind of just be an asshole yeah um so i can kind of see where they kind of drop the ball on that but in terms of my playthrough the way i like to play you know like i've you know be just said guy. in my last uh, monologue there i f- i freaking loved it mm-hmm. and um mm-hmm. It, that is definitely definitely my game of the it's year. It's definitely a memorable experience. Oh, yeah. Close the year. <clears throat> yeah, I will never, in terms of when I'm older and I reflect on gamings, uh, I will I will never forget my experiences with Fallout games, for sure. Absolutely It's not. always just the, me just, I, I just my first couple hours of me playing, I just was walking with my uh, Diamond City radio playing, listening mm-hmm. to uh, Butcher Pete, and mm-hmm. looked to my left, and Dog Meat was just sitting there. And I mm-hmm. just I just looked upon the horizon, and I was like, this is what I want. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I want right here. Mm-hmm. Everything was right in the world again. Everything was right. I just had my headset on in my dark room, mm-hmm. just running off into the wasteland yep. with, my, uh, with mm-hmm. my dog by my side, listening to uh, some fantastic tunes from my pit boy. Yeah. So, and that is... Again, that's why it's my game of the year, but I don't want to discredit all of this game, this year in general, like we made our toaster at the beginning, mm-hmm. has just been been a fantastic, it's been a very fantastic year. year for games. It was games. phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Best year by far as, as far as the new <coughs> consoles oh, go. Oh, no doubt. I mean, like, I want to give Rise of the Tomb Raider a shout out, too. Fantastic game. I freaking yeah, love that game. That's another credit. game. As I was playing it, I was like, this is great. Like, yeah. I'm so sad that this isn't like, this wasn't on everything and didn't come out. In January or February, yeah, kind of like a dying light situation where that game sold so well just because you know it was at a time where there was nothing out. Yeah. Tomb Raider should have done that. They really screwed themselves with. I, really I feel bad for the developer, fault. even though they got paid off by Microsoft or whatever. They kind of like know. screwed themselves. I know it's it's super sad because I mean, like I'm gonna say for the 80th time, it's a great game. Everybody with an Xbox needs to play that thing. And if not, please get it on PlayStation and PC when it comes out. I think if you, especially if you like the reboot yeah. or if you like, it's d- very different from uncharted people comparing the two they are so different you can climb mm-hmm. stuff and shoot shoot and that's it's like the, it's, and the shooting's different like i'm gonna come out uncharted's combat is far better than than tomb raider in my opinion like mm-hmm. far better 
And granted, maybe they were going for this type of like guerrilla warfare style in Tomb Raider, where she's just a, you know a chick who, in, in reality, if she jumped on a guy's back, he's just gonna throw throw her over his shoulder and just mm-hmm. kill her instantly because you know she probably weighs like what a hundred pounds or something, yeah. hundred twenty pounds maybe. But um, I don't know just the way she kills like kind of like Ellie in The Last of Us jumping on somebody's back and like taking them down and just like the mm-hmm. accuracy isn't that good but she's not a mercenary or something yeah. so that would make sense as opposed to Nathan Drake swinging from vines headshotting dudes and stuff it's mm-hmm. just way more fluid and better yeah. but then on the other side Tomb Raider is more about exploring and yeah. puzzles and stuff and it nails it like entering a big hub and finding tombs and like figuring out these puzzles and the stealth mm-hmm. is really good and the yeah. hunting actually means something now and That's good. the upgrading process or like upgrading your weapons and stuff are really cool Mm-hmm. Um, there's side missions where you can talk to the natives and like do missions for them. That's it's not just like, well, I think one or two of them. Well, for the most part, it's not just like, oh, go kill these guys and then come back to me. They're like, yeah. you know, actually do things. Yeah. So, fantastic game. I wouldn't necessarily put in. I know I've been talking about it in the game of the year talk, but um, I definitely think it deserves a position in the names of game of the year. But I Certainly. definitely would not give it. I don't think anybody's going to give that a game of the year. But it definitely deserves to be in the talks for recognized, sure. Just definitely. to be recognized for sure. But yeah, all what, of these games Batman, are fantastic. What about Arkham Knight? You know what? I completely forgot about that game, yeah. to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I really did. I, I remember <coughs> initially we thought that would be a huge contender. But I think overall that game was kind of... Good game. It was um, a good game. It was, it was, a, it was game. really good. I platinum that game. It lacked well. a few things. I Yeah, it was like kind of... I don't know. I... Plus the big PC debacle. Yeah, that kind of put a sour Gosh. taste in a lot of people. That was probably the main reason. Why, yeah. <coughs> I didn't mention a little too many tank battles. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for yeah. sure. If you want our, our full opinions on that game, yeah, we you talk can about refer that to our review lot, of that we got in spoiler our review reviews, playlist. Non-spoiler reviews. Night reveal. What a, you know. what a huge disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny is that I kid you not, the day that trailer was released, for the, the very first trailer ever for a game, I got a YouTuber I watched uh, at the time called it instantly. He's like, that's Jason Todd. And everyone's like, no, he's Red Hood. And I'm like, yeah, that, I was thinking, I was like, that'd be so stupid if they like made Red Hood. And they were like, it's night. a new, they, they probably knew they were got found out. And they're like, it's a new character. We yeah. swear, it's yeah. a new character. How stupid. <laughs> yeah. That was, was unfortunate. Yeah. Still, that game was awesome, but... uh. I don't know. It was I a great Batman game, Arkham, and I love Batman. I liked Arkham City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Arkham City will forever. If they just be took out all the Batman tank battles. If they, that's the thing is, if they just took the tank battles out, they need, be way fine. Better. They need like, some boss battles. Oh god, I can go on about that's, this. That's the thing, there are no boss battles. Deathstroke was a freaking tank I, battle. We already talked about. Uh, it. We already that's talked about. So it. stupid. We I could talk about Deathstroke this would never more. do a tank. The only thing I had going for it is that the gameplay between driving and tanking was very fluid and very well developed, but that doesn't make it fun. Yeah. So if there was one or two tank battles, we'd be like, oh, cool. But there's too many at the end. The yeah. combat was still flawless. The combat it was awesome. great. Yeah. I just wanted to fight Arkham Knight hand to hand. Like, yeah. let's mm-hmm. do this. Not him, you know, be pissed off at the world swinging around on his gargoyles. Yeah, He's like, was... I hate you. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. You're yeah, check me... out our uh, <laughs> podcast. We, we like talk like, like this and this tone for like an hour, just how like sad we were. Yeah. Good game, though. I would yep. say it was okay. It was. Yeah. I liked, it was probably my least favorite Batman game, though. Mm-hmm. I liked yeah. Asylum better than this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I like the more taste in condensed my stories. I've never in my life, no matter <coughs> what it is, been a fan of anything where all the stakes are on this. Like mm-hmm. this is the end of everything. That's so never excited stake. me. That's yeah. That's why I've always, that's why Arkham city and asylum. I thought were more fun just cause it's a condensed, like just like here's a quick example. The, the movie dread that came out, the judge dread remake mm-hmm. didn't do well, but a lot of, I've never been like a judge dread f- fan, but the, a lot of the hardcore fans enjoyed that movie myself included yeah, because I love that movie. it was like a day in the life of dread. And that was it. It mm-hmm. wasn't like, this is the end of everything. Everything matters up to, according to this moment, but yeah. asylum, a night in the life of Batman city, a bigger night in the life of Batman. And then uh, of course, Arkham Knight's like the whole city's going to end. Like everyone's freaking out. Like everyone's going to die. Like this is the end of Batman. <laughs> it's like, that's cool and all, but I've never been a fan of that. Yeah. yeah. I understand. What are your game of the year things? What is your game of the That is year? something we seriously want to know, because yeah. I know there's been a select few of you that have kept up with us for a while now and 
hats off to you guys for keeping up with us. This has been our... Yeah, thanks for sticking around. Seriously, this has been our first year as a gaming YouTube channel. As everyone knows, there's a lot of people doing this, but we don't do this because we want to get super famous. We don't want to do this because we want to make money. We started doing this at the beginning because we're like, that looks like a lot of fun. We would have fun getting together every week talking about games, playing games, so let's do it, and let's have a fun time doing it. Mm -hmm. And any of you that have ever commented on our videos, liked our videos, shared our videos, subscribed to our channel, it literally means the world to us. We don't just say that because we want you to like us more or we're afraid that you're going to get mad at or something. We mean that from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for sticking around. And I know... Game of the Year has been in talks since, like, I think summer, probably. There's been a couple of you guys that have been, been like, we got to talk about Game of the Year, talk about Game of the Year. What do you think Game of the Year is going to be? Here it is. We've talked about it. I'm sure this discussion can, can continue. I know we always say like and comment. We seriously comment on this video especially because this could be an excellent discussion because I'm sure you guys have different opinions. And Even if, for example, one of you guys also think Witcher 3 is the Game of the Year, it might be Game of the Year for different reasons than why we think it's Game of the Year. And these are really cool discussions that we could have about multiple things and I'd be surprised to see if anyone had gave me the year that was different from all of us mm -hmm. so and I want to know why you guys think that for sure because yep. yes. as we said this is more than just the three of us or sometimes the four of us it is all of us uniting as one so mm -hmm. let's get this conversation rolling yes indeed thank you well said Absolutely. well said sad sad well sad. thought but yeah it was a uh, it was an excellent year for games <laughs> absolutely I look forward to next year Absolutely. Yeah, sure. We've got some big releases year next be, year, too. Might be even better, maybe. I don't know. Fallout 4 doesn't come out next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we plan on continuing headstrong. We got Horizon, It's obvious gaming though. into the next year. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some big changes coming to the <coughs> channel. Well, at least starting out at the turn of the year, aesthetic changes coming. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll say for now. Okay. The look might alter a bit, which we're excited about. Yeah. Yes. And we hope you guys are, too. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that uh, generic YouTube stuff. Follow mm -hmm. us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We post tons of uh, sexy pictures oh, yeah. of us in scantily clad um, cosplay wear. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. um, Garrett actually just posted a picture of him as Bikini Drake from the Uncharted Collection. That's Jacob correct. is Bikini a Drake. very sexy warlock in Destiny. Mm -hmm. And I dressed up as... Um, Laura Croft. Laura Croft, a male version of Laura Croft in a yeah. thong. So please check wow. it out. Uh, give us a um, double tap on those pictures. Please. And um, hashtag it's obvious um, sexy calendar shoot. And join all the spam accounts on our Twitter that follow us. Yes, yeah, so that'd please. be great. Please do that. <laughs> and um, I think, yeah. I think that's so, it. Uh, our 2015 year is coming to an end. And like Garrett uh, elaborated, Thank you so much. And uh, we yeah. look forward to uh, trudging into 2016 with you by our side. Yes. Amen, brother. Hope all of you out there on the internet have a very happy holidays. Yes. Merry Certainly. Christmas, all that stuff. Absolutely. So, well, we'll see you next year. Maybe. I don't know. Are we'll we be doing? making more yeah. videos to the end Sorry. of the year. At least for gaming. <laughs> At least for game of the year stuff. I mean, everything's come out, so yeah. Yeah. we'll probably yeah. just be playing fun but, stuff to yeah, the end of the year. We'll just be doing that, so. And look forward yeah. to a review of Star Wars The Force Awakens as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot God. about that. It's going to be exciting. Thursday. I know. I got a little bit ahead of ah. myself. I thought, like, next year was tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're, like, halfway through December. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Have a good one.